Hi everyone, it's Chris again from One Man and His Quad and today we're going to do something very exciting. We're going to wash a quad bike. Hmm. But this is the full dip liquid vinyl shampoo. Um, it's designed to be used with dip products, like the one we have on the bike here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to basically give it a try. It's meant to actually enhance the lifespan of, of the product on there. But is it worth the money? Does it costs a little bit more than regular car shampoo. Or would car shampoo do as good a job? We will find out today. Right, let's give the bike a spray down and get started. So one thing to mention before I started was I've bagged off the air intake. If you have chosen to snorkel the ATV like we did in the previous video, well worth doing. You don't want obviously any water going into the airbox, even though the airbox is under that seat there. Chances are some moisture could get up there. So just bag it off before you start spraying it down. As you can see, the bike is now sprayed down. Annoyingly, it's just started to rain, so that could have done the job for me. Um, like any shampoo, it's a case of just sticking it a bit in a bucket of water, filling that up with water and sponging it off. So this is a sponge-on product. It's not going to be used in a pressure washer. I wouldn't recommend you use the pressure washer anyway if you have dipped any sort of vehicle, whether that's a quad bike, a car, etc. Um, basically getting the setting right, more trial than error really. So they do recommend hand washing a dip product or not taking it down to your local car wash um, with the, the big rollers, the old style car washes there. So we're going to hand wash this quad, try and do it as quickly as can, and then of course rinse it off afterwards and um, show you the results in the next clip. So I'm just looking at the back of the bottle to try and get some sort of instructions here. It's a, it's a Spanish product. Um, the only thing I can see is it's a concentrated cleaner, high maintenance lubrication additives. Ooh. Product doses concentrate dilute two plugs full dip shampoo with five litres of water or proportional. And it does say it is a manual cleaning system. So I think two caps of that in a, in a bucket of water should more than do the trick. showed up on the, the time-lapse video there but we concentrated on the arch areas and the reason I'm washing the bike today is this video is going to be in two parts we're going to come back tomorrow and we're actually going to put the fender flares on the bike which are stuck on to the the plastics so we need to get it nice and clean so kill two birds with one stone as I say do a video of, of both products the product very much so similar to a shampoo this has been on the bike now for about sort of five minutes as I film it um, it seems to be getting some of the more stubborn uh, marks I mean with a quad bike you do tend to catch things like these these wheel arches here getting on and off on both sides you do get a little bit of rub on this um, this panel here between the seat and uh, the black plastic there for the, the footwell but you know it, it's it's gone on all right you know it's cleaned it's but it was in cold water straight out the tap let's spray it off and um, and see what result we get just from doing no polishing
and just like that it's rinsed off i've opened the front for very good reason because it's actually draining the water off that it actually sits as you can see slightly greater than a 90 degree angle so about 100 110 degrees to let the water drain for that very reason by not using a pressure wash the inside bit here actually stays dry which is really good because i find the water can seep through if you do use a pressure wash overall the results are not bad i mean i sort of think you want to touch this plastic dip it does feel a little bit smoother and it did say it had some lubricating properties in which i don't know whether that's just dodgy Spanish to English translation or, or whether that's actually got some credit to it but it'll be interesting to see how the bike looks you know it looks quite fresh at the moment it's got to be said there are a few marks that haven't come off such as this one here but to be honest I think that personally this one is um, some black spray paint over spray from when I was just touching up there after drilling so I don't think that's anything to do with the fact of the product. I don't think it's actually designed to bring off things like spray paint. And I wouldn't want to use any stronger chemical on the bike in order to try and get it off. So it's doing no harm. It stays there. I'm going to show you another product very quickly. As I say, the point of this video is just to see how we get on with the, the dip products. But this isn't a dip product. This is actually something that came um, with some quad bike wash I got for when the bike was originally green and didn't have any dip on it. And I'm going to show you that now because I think it's brilliant stuff. They're not designed specifically for quad bikes. You may have seen these products from Pro Green, the MX range. This is their Aftershine 101. If we look at the reverse of the bottle, it actually says it's designed for use on plastics, metals, aluminium, carbon fibre and titanium. Um, and it's a chosen blend of emotional silicones designed to leave your plastic and metal parts looking like you. Directions for use. Basically... Get rid of all soap residue like we've just done. And it says, whilst the bike is still wet, apply directly to the bike's surface. Now, I've done that in the past, and especially on these black plastic parts. I don't know whether that will pick up on camera. I think it is. The, the beading basically turns white. So it basically leaves a sort of residue, dirty residue on top. So what I like to do is I like to spray it on uh, and then rub it in with... There you go, a bit of a, an old rag there. Nothing spectacular. You don't need any special microfiber cloths unless you want to buy some for this particular task. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to do it on the black plastics as I usually do. Do it on the black metals, so I think it looks good. Try and avoid things like handlebars and the seats though. Anywhere where you need some sort of grip because it is quite, um, like it says, it's a silicone type coating. So it's going to be quite shiny and slippy. I'm going to do the top plastic and I'm also going to try a, an inconspicuous part somewhere on the quad bike, on the orange part, to see how that goes. So, roll the tape and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I haven't given it a quick dry off with a microfiber cloth. It is, it is actually feeling slicker. It is still slightly damp, I've got to admit, but I didn't want to sort of, you know, say anything. The area I did with the, the quick shine is actually considerably slicker. And it doesn't actually look that it has affected the dip too much. It, it may be something to do next time I give it a wash. I don't want to put any products on the bike at the moment that are going to affect um, the, the fender flare sticking on when I come to do that tomorrow. I did say this video will be in two parts. What I'm going to do is do the filming for that tomorrow when the bike's dry. I've got a feeling because there's been a lot, quite a lot of information on this video. We're going to do the video and publish it in two parts. So there's going to be a part one and part two. Those are the two product reviews today, guys. It's full dip vinyl, sorry, full dip liquid vinyl shampoo. It's a Spanish product. Just like full dip is the dips that full dip do are brilliant by the way that's available from map pack for your black plastic parts on your atv or whatever vehicle really whether you've got a quad bike a motocross bike whatever type of bike plastic parts metal parts 
you can't really go wrong with the Pro Green MX Aftershine 101. As I say, I'm on the second bottle of that now since owning this bike, and it brings the plastics back looking really, really good and really, really smooth as well, really, really slick. Um, so, a nice feeling plastic, it looks good as well, and that's what we do basically car washing and detailing for is to make your bike or your car or your van or whatever you're doing look fantastic. So it's the next day, we've brought the pod inside because I'm going to be doing some work and the weather is pants being a June day outside as you can probably tell by the state of my top at the moment. But all in all, really impressed with the full dip shampoo, it's put almost a protective film on it um, by just washing it. So it's actually quite a good investment for the price and I'm really really still impressed with the Pro Green product, the, the easy spray for the plastic, I can't quite remember what the name is. But once I finish doing what I'm doing to the quad today, which you'll see on the next video, we will be spraying the entire bike with that, because I think it's got a really nice feel, a little test patch you saw me do yesterday on the back. That is it for this video. I say part two is going to come up next week. It's sort of a completely different video, to be fair. Um, we're going to be doing some work on the quad, um, which is semi-cosmetic, but also got a practical use as well. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, make sure also you follow us on our Instagram channel and make sure as well you give us a like on YouTube. You can find all three parts of our social media network by just simply searching one man and his quad in a respective search bar for your particular social media. And make sure if you want notifications for these videos, they come out approximately every Friday at the moment make sure you hit that bell symbol. We've agreed, it's a bell, I promise you. In the meantime, catch you very, very soon. Stay safe, and as I say, I'll catch you. We'll be doing a bit more work. It's Polaris Sportsman 570 next time on One Man and His Quad.